Good evening, NHS. It's finally December, which means 2021 is right around the corner. Say goodbye to 2020 with me. Goodbye, 2020. Nice. Let's move on to news. Saturday morning, December 4th, NHS is hosting the SAT college entrance exam. The students who have registered for the exam need to enter through gate one by 745. The test will take place in the English wing with other classrooms surrounding. Room assignments will be available in the entry hall when you arrive. Cell phones are not allowed during SAT testing, so make sure you leave them in your car or at home. You're also required to wear a mask during the test. Remember to bring your admission ticket from the college board, student ID, or driver's license. Two number two pencils <laughs> and an approved calculator. Testing will end at 12.30 for students testing without essay and one o'clock for students testing with essay. The NHS Spell Bowl team finished off their season with a high score in the area competition. Shout out to Katie Wong, who earned a perfect score. She was qualified to participate in the individual state competition where she earned a near perfect score as well. Congratulations to the Spell Bowl team for a great season. The NHS theater department would like to watch, would like you to watch a short video about the can drive they are hosting. Attention NHS, your theater department is holding our annual canned food drive, TOTS. We're accepting donations from November 9th to December 11th. All proceeds will go to local charity Fuel for School, which supports the families of Noblesville School students. You can drop off all donations at outside room 3105, which is between the auditorium and the cafeteria. For more information about acceptable donations, see the bulletin board in the lobby. Make sure to bring in your cans and drop them off at the theater room for a great cause. Attention members of Best Buddies, your next virtual meeting will be on December 16th at 2.30. The link can be found on the Best Buddies Canvas page. Also make sure you to see your Canvas message for details about ordering a Best Buddies t-shirt. Do you need a break from the stress of school? Stop by the library to receive a bag of goodies. These goodies include coloring pages, origami kits, and DIY tie-dye masks. The Lena Paul Club is doing a wish list drive for the Humane Society and could use items such as canned food, cat litter, pet toys, collars, and more. To see the full list of items and to donate, please see the collection bins that are located in the cafeteria and in student services. Well, <laughs> that was a great segment of news. Before you go to lunches and sports, I rec recommend that you take a moment to reflect on the life of Ratatouille. Now, lunches and sports. <laughs> When creating next year's schedule, consider theater arts. All NHS elective theater courses stimulate student creativity through peer collaboration. While exploring course objectives, students acquire vital life skills by discovering the importance of traits such as time management, flexibility, acceptance of others, effective communication, and self-confidence. Theater Arts 1 and 2 is the prerequisite for all other theater electives at NHS. Prior experience isn't needed. All course descriptions can be found on the school's website under the Guidance tab. For more information on these electives and Noblesville's extracurricular theater opportunities, please contact Mrs. Neaton. Hey NHS and welcome back to sports. So my brother Micah told me this story about a guy who dropped his Scrabble letters on the road. He looked up and said, what's the word on the street? Now whether you guys got that or not, let's go right into sports. The Miller girls varsity and JV basketball teams played HSC Wednesday, December 3rd. The varsity team led with a strong victory of 50-39, with Ashlyn Shade leading the team scoring 24 points. The JV team had a tough fight and lost by only one point with a score of 38-37. Great job, Millers. Your Miller boys basketball team won their first game last Saturday against Columbus East with a score of 72-68. Luke Almodovar led the Millers in scoring with 17 points, including three three-pointers. E.J. Smith chipped in 15, while David Lloyd added 12 and led the team in rebounds with 6. Great job out there, boys. Their next game is on the road at Beach Grove on Saturday. Big congratulations to Miller golfer Sarah Brenneman. She was elected to be a part of the All-State team, joining seven past girls who have achieved this honor dating back to 1995. Awesome job and best of luck. The Boys Sprinters and Jumpers is going to be hosting a virtual call at meeting. Google Meet this Thursday at 3.15. The meet is predicted to last for about 10 minutes and will discuss things such as winter workouts for before and after winter break and the future track season.
Be sure to email Coach Glob for the access code at Jonathan underscore G-L-A-U-B. In sports this weekend, the girls basketball team plays Marion High School this Saturday with JV starting at 12 o'clock and varsity at 1.30. When boys basketball team will face Beach Grove with the JV starting at 6 while the varsity starts at 7.30. I'm sad to say that I'm graduating midterm and this will be my last episode of NHS News. The past three years on air have been awesome. Have a good Christmas break and stay radical NHS. I'll miss you guys.